Susan with Kimi Lane Designs, and I'm so excited to share with you how to use our Play to Create system to design and create beautiful cards. The Play to Create system was developed with scrapbooking in mind, but as I'm about to show you, it also works really great for card making too. If you are interested in scrapbooking, please make sure to take a minute to watch the demo videos on how to use the Play to Create system to design scrapbook layouts. Now, the key to the Play to Create system is our designer templates which were developed to help us to design and create our complete card without the fear of making a mistake. The way that they do this is that they allow us to visualize our complete card before we cut into anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by designing our card. And I already went ahead and created a card base, which we're gonna design on top of. And we're gonna go ahead and use one of our card border sets. Each set comes with six different pieces and three different designs, and each design has a side A and a side B to it like this, which I'm gonna explain here in a minute. Now the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and grab one of those pairs, the side A and the side B, and simply place it on top of our card base. Now this is just gonna give us a few uh, fun shapes to kind of work with, and you could even do something like this on your card. Um, another fun thing is where you can design the outside of your card and maybe even stick one on the inside of your card. And then of course, if you like the layer look, you can even add the layers to your cards by simply placing them on top like that. Now there are some things to keep in mind when you are designing with card borders. The first involves why we created a side A and a side B. And this is going to come into play when we are ready to trace and cut these shapes out of our coordinating paper. So let me show you what I mean. Now, when we're ready to cut those pieces out of our paper, simply what we're gonna do is take whatever coordinating paper that you're working with, um, take the side A, line it up on the edge like this, take a pencil, trace, and then you just take the matching side B, line that up, and then I simply just make a mark right here. This lets me know where to do a straight cut with my paper trimmer. And then I'm just gonna follow the line um, using a basic pair of scissors. And then the one cut at the center is automatically going to give me two different pieces. And I went ahead and I already cut this out to kind of give you a sample. Now the great thing about this is that it will allow us to do any of those designs that we just showed you by just using the one cut. Now this also allows us to take advantage of double-sided paper. So what if you wanted to create that layered look, you could simply flip it and it will give you that nice layered look like this. Um, another fun thing you could try is even maybe doing a back-to-back -back effect like this. Now tracing and cutting is a later step, but I wanted to show you this so that you can keep this in mind when you are actually designing your card. Um, so let's go ahead and get back to the designing part. Now you could try any of those designs um, and keep it really simple on your cards, but if you wanted to dress it up a little bit more, you could even throw in some fun card borders. And these just allow to add, uh, you to add an extra element to your card, um, add some extra layers. So you could do maybe a fun trail down the middle of your back to back. You could maybe even do just one border, maybe even up there and then tuck a, you know, an extra trowel there. Um, another fun thing is maybe even throwing in a scallop and doing a back-to-back -back like that. Or say we wanna even mix it up a lot, we could even do something more like that. So as you could see, just play with the designs until you come up with something you like and definitely throwing in some of the fun borders give you more options as well. Now, as far as accessorizing your card, we do have a variety of different tiny accessories, which are the perfect sizes for your cards. And we would just do the same thing. We would just simply lay them out. Um, you could try maybe doing a simple flower like that. Um, we could throw it all apart. And again, just have fun and just kind of see what you can come up with. Um, you could throw in maybe a bracket, which are really great to use on your cards. Uh, we could maybe add a little extra element. Say you were doing a birthday card or something like that, um, just depending on whatever paper you're working with. But we do have our tiny celebrate set, which is great for birthday cards. So you can see 
lots of fun balloons. So maybe we take this element off and we maybe we add two balloons there instead. So you can see that really changes it up. Um, this is also really fun where you take this kind of cloud effect uh, from the Celebrate and you can take a simple shape from the tiny shape set and it creates a cupcake. So that could be a lot of fun um, depending on what card you're working on. So as you can see, there's a lot of options to design with, but when you're working with such a small space, um, it's also nice to throw in some strips. Now this can simplify your design, but it also can increase your design options. So for example, now say we wanted to throw in some tiny strips. Now each template does represent a different color or pattern. And so when you're designing this, you can maybe throw in a simple cardstock um, as your strip and then layer your border on top of there. Um, we could maybe throw in some tags, which is fun. That's a really fun card. Um, another thing is, you could see here, like we just use the one strip there, couple embellishments. This is using a strip on top but also just a half inch on the bottom just to kind of pull that pattern down. This has a back-to-back -back effect, but then with the strips down the middle. So you can really see that it also increases your design options um, from just what I showed you. Now you might have noticed how many times I changed up the design of my card and tried something new and that is what is great about the play to create system is because nothing is permanent. It really frees you up to just kind of have fun, play with the design of your layout, which can be very inspiring. Now to see the next steps of this process, please make sure to watch video two, which will go over how to trace, cut, ink, and replace each element on your card. Thanks for watching.